on every time our first guest comes to visit. Last year, she taught me the proper way to serve a tennis ball. And uh, that's very, very important. And I taught her the proper way to make and serve angel food cake. Which do you think is more valuable? <laughs> and this morning, we're squaring off yet again. Only this time, we're going to be making flower arrangements. Please welcome back to the show, tennis champion Serena Williams. aren't you? I am ready for yeah. summer. I'm, I'm excited about it. It's going to be a crazy summer, but it, I'm ready for it. It is. You have Wimbledon coming up. Yes, now, when do you Wimbledon go? The, um, I'm actually leaving a couple, like a week and a half to go uh -huh. over because we have the French Open. We have like two Grand Slams oh boy. back to back. So well, congratulations really on winning the Australian Thank Open. You. That was Thank very you. exciting. <laughs> And uh, so are you looking forward to being in England in June? I am. You know, England is one of my favorite places to visit. I mean, I wish I could live there sometimes because it's just so pretty and the city is so ma marvelous. It rains a lot, obviously. But well, don't look, outside at, the, of the, rain, don't look at the dollar in relation to the pound. <laughs> That's exactly two, why I'm not there right now. <laughs> two dollars to the pound yes, for the first it, time ever. Isn't that awful? It's insane. It really is. It really is very difficult to shop. But we can there. still enjoy, even though the, the dollar is so weak, we can enjoy. <laughs> Um, the gorgeous gardens and the gor yes. gorgeous uh, uh, lessons that the English have taught us about gracious living too. You know, so yes, many definitely. beautiful things. Mm -hmm. But how is your training going? Are you working out every single day? You know what I am. You know, right now it's it's important because, like I said, we're playing two Grand Slams back to back, and um, you know, it's it's it, I don't like it. You know, I think the easiest part for me is to go out there and actually play the tournament. Yeah. You know, it's like, oh my God, I get to relax, even training, though I'm not relaxing. But training it's just, is important. It is anything you do, right? It is. It is. So, how many hours a day are you actually? And tell us, tell us a regular day. Well, you know, I'm hitting about twice a day. Um, well, I'm hitting once a day. I, I, I hit for like two hours, and I train for like two hours, and then I have to do rehab for a couple hours. It's, it's really insane. Oh, boy. Yeah, but the exciting Rigorous. thing is that this year at Wimbledon, um, I'm with working with Vicks again, like I what, what oh, last good. time. And uh, if you go to VicSinusSendoff.com, you can enter in the sweepstakes, and one grand prize winner will have a chance to win a free trip to London. Oh, I'm going to enter. A free trip. <laughs> I said ah. the same thing. <laughs> A free trip to Wimbledon to see me play and, you know, spend some time. And uh, Wimbledon tickets, I think, are probably the hardest tickets in oh, the industry. Oh, I, I think they're all gone. Yeah. Last night I sat at a table with Monica Sellers. Oh, did you? Who looked beautiful. Yeah, and she said to I say hello her. to you. Oh, tell her I said hi to uh, She's She was my role model going up. Oh. I'm, like, obsessed with her, actually. Like, yeah. Oh, my God, Monica Sellers. <laughs> yeah, well, she looked great. She looked like a fashion model. Oh, wow. Long, long hair and wow. a very slinky dress. Yeah, yeah. she looked great. But, um... I know that you love flowers so much, yes, and uh, I do. we were showing um, uh, Serena some really great pictures of English flower gardens. Um, and I thought that um, you, you know the difference between a formal garden and an yes, informal absolutely. garden. Yeah. Absolutely. So there are formal gardens in England with really um, beautifully designed beds, wow. boxwood that edging. That looks like a wedding. Place Isn't that to get gorgeous? Oh yeah. yeah. Really pretty. And then uh, this one is so beautiful too, with the high hedges surrounding the garden. These oh, are wow. all architecturally inspired landscapes. Oh, and then you get into the uh, my more favorite garden is the uh, English casual country garden, mm. which is just sort of like a hodgepodge of everything beautiful. It, it oh, does wow. appear less structured, uh, full of wonderful shrub roses and, and wow. uh, delphiniums and tall and short plants, all mixed all together. I, I love that one. And wow. usually brick pads, meandering pads. We even have a picture of my Turkey Hill garden up in uh, Westport, Connecticut. Do we have a picture in uh, and uh, oh yeah, there's my garden. Now there oh, it wow, looks there beautiful. it looks real green. Yeah. Uh, but then from above you can see that oh. it looks sort of like an English country. It garden. is like an English garden, like the more structured one. Yeah. Well, see the, uh, the beautiful one. arches and oh, uh, wow. many many different kinds of flowers. And wow. I, I just sold that garden. Oh no! Yeah, I did. I did. <laughs> but oh. I am building a new garden. Oh good. Yep. Good, so good, um, good. and I, I hope that the new owners will enjoy the gardens as you know, much as I'm I sure do. I'm sure they will. Yeah. So now this is the flower glossary. I want. Okay. Uh, now, do you can you recognize any of these flowers? Know the names of any of them? I I don't. I, I just know roses and gardenias. Okay. Well, there's the roses. <laughs> those are David Austin roses in the front. Yeah, these are beautiful. And next to them are flowers that look sort of like roses, but those are peonies. Oh, wow. And uh, lilies of the valley, which smells, here, you can smell that. That is one of my favorite flowers. It's not 
Isn't oh, that wow. a wonderful scent? Yeah, and also I mean, the small could smell so nice. Oh, yeah. Grows oh, in wow. the woodland. And then this is Alcamilla, or ladies' mantle. We have hosta leaves, which are, they come in many, many different sizes and oh, colors. Wow. Are those the ones that can get really big? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I yeah. love those. those. And I then know sweet those. peas, delphiniums, phlox, and clematis, and uh, Queen Anne's lace, which is very popular in English arrangements, mm -hmm. columbines, and, oh, I love the fritillarias that look like little upside-down tulips. Aren't yeah, they pretty? Yeah, they're look, really pretty. They're called, they're called uh, checkerboard flowers because they were in the checkerboard oh Cute. they are leading hearts so come on over here because we have so many we have a beautiful setup for you of oh. uh, of many of those I'm kinds be doing of flowers some gardening yeah. yeah well you're going to do some flower arranging flower i thought arranging. that we could each make a sort of blousy wonderful english arrangement okay. uh not a formal one so much that's a formal one with all the roses oh. and peonies yeah that's gorgeous but this is more... That one looks hard to do. Well, th this one does? Or this that one? one. Yeah, that's yeah. more structured. Yeah. But this is more...